What up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a professional DJ logo in Adobe Illustrator CC 2022. So the first thing we want to do is choose a font that fits the style of logo that we want to create. And that font I choose for this project is going to be the Akira Expanded because I think it suits the jump logo style perfectly. If you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. This will tell you when I upload new content. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure the smart guides are turned on. So in Illustrator, go to view and then look for smart guides and make sure it's ticked. Okay, so the next step, we need to make this font an editable vector. So you select it, right click, create outlines. The next step now is to ungroup the vector. So select the vector again, right click, ungroup. This will make each letter separate. Okay, so the next step is to group the left and the right side. So firstly, we're going to select the B or U. Then we're going to control G on the keyboard. That should group it as one. Then we'll do the same on the um, second half, the NCE. So select, control G. Now those are two separate groups. Now we're going to add perspective to each side. Select the left group. Head over to the free transform tool, which is here. Click it. It'll open this up. Click perspective distort. Click this corner here. Keep hold of your mouse button and press shift control and then move your mouse upwards. And do the same on the right side group. So select free transform tool, perspective distort, left click on this corner, shift control, move your mouse up to the same point of where the U stops at the top. Okay, so what we need to do now is make the left side 3D. Before we do that, we need to change the color of, of the left side group to a gray color. I do this because once I change it to 3D, you'll be able to see the 3D bevel clearly. Okay, so make sure you have the left group selected. Now head over to Effect, 3D and Materials, 3D Classic, Extrude and Bevel Classic. Click that. Okay, now you've clicked that, you'll see a window pop up. What you need to do is res reset the 3D to its default position. So click on the position, click on front. Then if you go to this um, rotation axis here, go to the second one down and type in 18. Then go to Extrude Depth. And this should be set to 278. That'll give us the desired depth effect. So in order to make the um, 3D into a vector, we need to expand it. So while the left group is selected, head over to Object, and then click Expand Appearance. This now makes the uh, bevel 3D. While that's selected, Right click, ungroup. So what we need to do now is move the B or U just to the left, make sure they have enough spacing. And then we need to separate the front face from the um, 3D bevel or depth. So right click each one, ungroup, do that to the B, or in the U. Now that those are ungrouped, select the uh, B and then the O, then the U, the front face of the letters, and then move them, just move them away from the 3D elements. Then select each uh, 3D. So I'm going to select the B, then I'm going to head down to Pathfinder. And I'm going to click this first box here, the Unite. I'm going to do that for each 
of the letters, the 3D letters here. Okay, so what I want to do now, I want to cr move this, um, the depth part of the U. Wait, but first I need to ungroup it. So I'm going to right click while selected ungroup. I'm going to move this, but I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to select it with the mouse, left mouse button. But I'm going to press Alt and I'm going to drag it away. That creates a duplicate. Hold Shift as well so it stays aligned. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the line tool and click it. I'm going to go to the bottom corner of the N here. I'm going to click. I'm going to hold Shift. I'm going to drag upwards. This creates a guide. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to move this, uh, what looks like a J, you know, the U depth. And I'm going to align it with that new guide. So it should be flush with the leg of the N. What we want to do now is see the outlines. So we can uh, judge and edit um, what we need to. So if you hold Control and then press Y, It'll go to outline mode. So what we want to do is get the line tool again. Find the top corner of the end. Then we're going to align it to the angle there. And then we're going to pull it just past it. Okay, so what I need to do now is get rid of these little uh, ends here. Um, so what I need to do then is go to the shape builder tool. Make sure you have all of these selected with the lines. If you look at the pointer, you'll see a plus sign. If I hold Alt, it's a negative. That means it'll remove shapes. So if I hold the left button down and just draw a line in those areas I don't want, it'll remove them. Okay, so in order to merge these two, I'm just going to... I'm not going to press Alt or anything. I'm just going to draw a line with the left mouse button pressed down. And just go through that and it'll make that as one shape and then if i do it again through the end now that is one element that is one shape okay what we need to do now is just get rid of all these spare parts so i'll just select them remove select and remove boom okay so now we have to focus back to the 3d and the front faces of the b or u but if you select the b or u Drag them back to uh, the 3D depths, and you'll notice that the, the they will be behind the the front faces will be behind the depths. So make sure those are still selected, and then Control, and then use the left square bracket or the right one. Um, sorry to put, bring those layers forward. So what we now need to do is select the B. We need to move that closer to the O. And do the same with the B and R. Move that closer to the U. And make sure you've got some nice spacing so they look equal. There we go. And then select all of those three together. Then click the Shape Builder tool once more. Click Alt. And just run the mouse through whilst clicking the left button. The uh, front face of the letters. Just to cut those out to create white space. And do that again through the U. There we go. The final steps now is to move the B or U. And as you see the depth of the U, you need to uh, move that until it gets to the line of the N that we created earlier. Uh, and then just remove that grey part of the end now um, and there we go the logo's finished if you select all and then press shape mode unite it should change the logo to whatever colour usually white so just change the colour go up to this colour swatch here and just change it to whatever colour you want and there we go the finished bounce logo and that's basically how you design the DJ logo. If there's a uh, logo style that I have missed in this tutorial that you would like me to try in the next one, leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and 
click that notification button then you'll be able to see when my next video goes out thanks again for watching peace